Let's talk about URL control parameters. Uh, something that people don't really think of uh, that often and also is uh, not, not a utilized feature a lot, but I happen to have a lot of experience with this. We have, uh, I think, three or four clients on MediAuthentic that um, have hundreds of different websites and hundreds of different uh, countries and uh, very, very global brands that have different instances for different locations. Um, so I actually have a lot of experience with using these URL parameters to take one report that is for one uh, individual and turning it into a 50, an unlimited 50 to 100 different reports. That's the same data, the same URL, but using URL parameters and a unique source of truth to build that. So let's just hop right into it. But first, um, I'm going to ask for something real quick from you is if you have a chance, can you head over to datastudio.vip forward slash feedback? Um, that's this URL right here, forward slash feedback. Um, and fill this out. Uh, you'll join the newsletter. If you don't want to be in the newsletter, you can unsubscribe. It's super fast, but I didn't want to build it so that I had to... Uh, not subscribe you, so you can subscribe. I, we're gonna make some changes on this channel. I'm gonna be bringing in some of my team to uh, share some more information so that's not just my voice, uh, although I love hearing myself talk. Um, and this is gonna help us so we can understand kind of what you're interested in, uh, the data sources you wanna talk, talk about, and just anything in general. This is where you can do that. It's datastudio.vip forward slash feedback right here, um, and you can do that. All right. So let's just hop right into it, folks. Um, we're gonna dive into how to use these URL parameters and kind of give you the, the down low of what we're talking about. So first things first, here we have a data studio report and you can see the URL, right? We got, we got this so you can see that. And here we are, we are in edit mode, which is right here. And you can see how, um, again, if I take off edit mode, you will then uh, be in view mode because you're not in edit mode. And then if we do add back the edit, Bada bing, bada boom, you are now first tip of the day, right? The URL actually does some things. So the second thing is, is this is a, per, uh, the, the second thing is up in file. If you go down here to publish settings, this will allow you to turn on like the different versions. Um, really important for this, um, what I'm about to show you is if this is on and you're looking at a a live one and then a, uh, a draft version at the same, it's not gonna work. So either turn this off or make sure you're in a published version before moving forward. <laughs> All right. Um, and the second thing is, is if you come down here to report settings, which they keep moving and I'm publishing settings, report settings, you're gonna see this custom bookmark links checkbox. This checkbox is super important because it allows us to do all the things that we're about to do. And basically you can use filters and data controls to then create new report views. And we're gonna talk about this. Make sure that's on and it is published. Okay, housekeeping out of the way. Let's add in a couple of charts here. So we're trying to scorecard. Let's add in a time series just so we have an idea here of what we're looking at. And this is again, we're just using the GA4 Google Merchant uh, Store, but this will work with anything. We've done it with a uh, BigQuery. We've done it with um, custom, like, custom data sources, Supermetrics, PowerMind Analytics, DataDo, uh, all the big ones, Porter, Porter Metrics. <laughs> I've used them all. Um, and so this will work for everything. Okay. So now let's just say, for example, we wanted to just look at the United States. Most people will just do this and then you are off to the races. But what you can see is up here in the URL, you can notice that it added a bunch of gibberish, right? So what's actually happening here is that the URL is loading parameters, those URL parameters, to then tell us what to filter on the page. So if I select India, it will then change the parameters up here. And it will then, if I add in China as well, it will say like add those as well. So we're in China and India. And what I'm gonna do before moving forward is just I'm gonna actually add a map so we can add a chart of a little cute little map here. The cute little mappy. All right. And so now we have a map that is gonna be here. And then what we can do is just add in the country and then we can add in the number of uh, views. Let's do the number of sessions. Let's do total hits. So then now that's what we're looking at, right? We've got these three courts and now let's dive into the actual use case here. So first thing is first is let's look at how this affects when I click on something. So I click on United States, what's gonna happen here is that it will just be 
United States. There, map changes. We got this thing. Now we're good. Just select India. Now we're just looking at India. And here we go. If we select the United States and India, you can see how that now we're looking at US and India. And then what we can do is we can look at how the URL changes. So what if we wanted to give, say you a different country and you wanted to give everybody their own um, link to view the dashboard without having to view everything first. One thing you could do is you could just click on United States and then copy this URL and send it to somebody. This will load up. So if you hit Command C, Command T, Command V, paste, hit enter. This will then load up in edit mode with just United States. Oops, no, it won't. Scratch that. You might have to be out of uh, edit mode in order for it to work. And now it should work just fine. There we go. So now we're just looking at United States, right? It's just the United States is just selected. Um, one method that you can use to use this is just copy every single one of these and then make your own URLs. But we're gonna level it up a sec. And so like what you could do is just like, you could come in here, go in here to a Google Sheet, say, hey, United States link or country link. And then here's the link. And then you can say United States paste this link in here and now you could give this to your team and say hey view this and then boom now it'll open up in data studio and we've got United States selected and then what we can do is move this off the page you can like make this with little arrow keys right so now it's off the page and so now if somebody let's exit out of these clicks on this opens that up they don't even see the actual controller. They just know that we're talking about the United States. Pretty neat. I don't say so myself. Okay, so now let's level this up a bit and let's make it dynamic in the sense of where we don't need to use a Google Sheet to do this. Uh, we can actually open up a report uh, by ourselves. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna go into edit mode. We're gonna bring this back on the page so we know what the heck we're looking at. And we're gonna create a new field um, here. And I'm gonna get rid of my face just so we have more more screen real estate. So I promise I'm still here talking. If you don't see me, it's okay. Object permanence is definitely a thing. So here we go. So we got this, we got that, all these pieces together. Now let's talk about adding in a chart. And what we're gonna do is gonna create a new field here that is gonna be a report link. So let's get rid of this baddie right here. And what we can do is just say, get rid of this. And here we're gonna create a new field and we're gonna call this the uh, hyperlink. So this is gonna be a hyperlink and let's add in here, hype, or actually let's build our link first. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into view mode and we're gonna select United States and we're gonna copy this URL, command C. That's what we're gonna do. Now we're gonna go back here and we're gonna hit edit mode. We're gonna select this and now we're gonna go into our situation and we're going to type in hyperlink paste this in and you got to put it between double quotes so here we are double quoting things and we should hit apply what two arguments did i miss a comma oh we are we are in error everybody okay so we are now in a problem. So here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this. We are then gonna come back here, get rid of this, create a new field, hyperlink. And we're gonna hop in here and then add in our text. That's gonna be the second argument um, of this piece right here. So we got argument number two. So that's the first link is the hyperlink. And then the second link here is gonna be our Oops. And the second link is gonna be our click text. So here, we're just made a hyperlink with just these two, two fields. That should work, hit apply, and then it should say click. If I hit view mode, it will then open this up in a new report with just the United States selected. Now let's make things dynamic. So what I wanna do here is I want to then create a new report that is dynamic. So what we're gonna do is manually zoom our faces in really quickly. And where it sees where it's the United States, we're gonna add is a double quote right there. We're gonna then add a comma 
like this. So that we're gonna close that out like that. So now that this is at the end here, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually con create a concatenate field, concat here. And so what we're gonna do is concatenate all of these pieces together. So I know this is gonna get real wild and let's actually do it inside of the data source. We've got some more, more uh, show and tell space, okay? So here we are, paste that in. So what we got here is a hyperlink. We've got a concat function. And then at the end here, we've got the click URL. So we're gonna concatenate together all of this information right here. See where it says the parameter ID. So here is the saying, it's saying the URL parameter ID. Then we have the include, so we're including. And then what we have is a bunch of um, information and we'll see the thing United States, right? That's what we're looking for. So I'm gonna hit the double quotes again. So that's gonna make our first concatenation. Hit comma. And then what we're gonna do is type in country. So, and then hit comma again, and then use option right to kind of go over. And then we're gonna delete these. Boom, okay. So now we've got this giant string which is gonna concatenate together with country there. And then we need to add a, to close our concatenation right here. And now what should happen is we get a new URL. I'm gonna call this click to country report. And so now what you'll see is that we have this click to country report that I'm gonna to add to this right here. And let's get rid of this right here. Boom, get rid of that. So now we're doing everything. We're gonna move these over. We're then gonna add this right here. We are then, oopsies, move that over there, put this over here, move these things over. Do, 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 do. Okay, and now here we have this report. We're gonna look for our click to country report, add that in, and we're gonna also add in the country here and there we go and now let's just make it a little prettier by going to style and getting rid of the pagination i'm never a fan of pagination personally and let's just make it look a little cuter by adding in the numbers into a bar and showing the actual number okay so now what we've got is this let's just recap okay so this is a recap with my face. <laughs> so first thing we did is we create a new field, right? The field is um, a hyperlink, that's it. We then looked at the URL and took a look at the basically the parameter in the URL and the value of said parameter. In our example case, we used the United States as the example and we took and broke apart that URL. So we took out the United States chunk and replaced that with the dynamic dimension of country. So that's what we did first. And then we added that in a concatenate function. And if you weren't sure, I didn't explain it, do the job of explaining, is concatenate just bolt, like smashes everything together into one big string. And so now what will happen is if I click on one of these little things that say click, it should open a new report with those URLs intact. So if I hit click this, we now open the United States. Fingers crossed. Boom, so now we can see that we're just in the United States. And let's make this here and we click on this. Now we're in India, right here. And so now you could send these URLs to your team or build a master homepage dashboard that you could then view the individual countries. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this and let's just say, for example, we had views and then we had sessions, right? Do do and views and then we had like something like this. And we got, we have to keep this on the page because it is something that we need, but we can just make it really small. Like I'll usually just smash it up like this. And then I usually put most things at the top of the page like that. So that way I know that they're there. I know that I always put them at the top of the page. So then we have this giant overview page here that we can use to kind of disseminate what we're looking for. And what we can actually do here is grab this same URL piece. And this is gonna get really ugly really quickly, but I promise it's gonna get better. We're gonna remove the header we are then going to remove row numbers and we're gonna change all the styles to transparent. And you're probably like, what on earth are we doing? And so now we're gonna just under setup, we're gonna change this to display only one. 
and we're gonna get rid of everything here except for country and we're gonna sort it by the same category of views and we're gonna make this quite small and change the style to be quite large so let's make this I don't know let's go with 24 it's always a good number all right so now what we have is we've got this report right here that we could put somewhere else like we could take this report and let's make another page, right? So let's just say, for example, we had another page um, before this. So let's just go up in here, create a new page. And let's just say that this report was up here. And then we called this our country admin. I can't spell, but that's beside the point. Paste this sucker in here. Okay. So since we have something like this, we maybe we're talking about the global impact of our company or something like that. And you're on this page and you're like, cool, 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 all makes sense, like lickety split, we're looking good. And then you're in view mode and you click on this, I wanna see more about China. Boom, click on China, opens up a new report that is already filtered to just China, displays China right here, showing China right here, and it has all the metrics for China. So I hope that made some sense as far as how we got there. So now we can go to our country admin, we can keep this, we can add this as all of our global stats as our from our organization, right? And then we can come in here into our URL parameters page, and here's where you could say then, let me we add in a chart here of like a bar chart, and we have all of our cute little stuff, and we had it in our session source. And again, this is a dummy report that we just made really quickly together, but I hope you understood the value of this, right? So now what we have is this report that we could show for every department, right? Imagine you had a department or if you had products, right? Individual items that you wanted to break out into individual breakdowns of how many SKUs were purchased together, all that jazz. So now you can go into your country admin report, maybe it's your item admin, any of those types of things, click on the individual piece. Let's just say like we were looking at, let's look at Mexico open up this new report, bada bing, bada boom, we are now looking at Mexico and all everything's already filtered. We're looking at all the stats. We can come in here, get our actions, get on our way and we are gone. So that is it folks. I hope that that made some sense. I know there was some skipping around in there. So if you if I miss anything, drop it in the comments down below. And remember, if you have not grabbed the cheat sheet over at datastudio.vip forward slash YouTube, there's a cheat sheet there that should help you build sexy, actionable dashboards. I will see you guys in the next one.